Hi, uh, this is Hao Zheng from Boston College, and uh, our work is about seeing in, in, invisible pulses from egocentric uh, video. So as you can see that this is an egocentric video captured from a chest-mounted camera. Even though we cannot see the various body parts, but we can still figure out what this, what this guy is doing. So uh, our task is that we want to estimate the 3D human pulses from this kind of video. And our, our uh, result is shown in the red box, and the, the ground truth is shown, uh, captured from the connect V2, is shown in the blue box. As you can see that our result closely follow the ground truth. Um, and also our method not only gives the, uh, the pulse classes, but also gives the detailed movement of the person. So seeing invisible pulses from an egocentric camera is a new problem. So uh, it has a lot of challenges. For example, we cannot see the body parts probably at all. And also the scene not limited to a, a fixed environment. And the people often have very different motion styles. So to uh, solve this problem, we need some kind of new schemes. So our, our idea is that uh, we use a machine learning approach. So we use two kinds of features. So one feature is the dynamic scene motion feature to capture the detail of uh, fine-grained body motions. And will, we also use the static scene uh, structures to reflect the coarse body motions. So this is the pipeline of our, our method. So the motion features yeah, uh, is a stack of uh, homography in one second video. And the, the static feature is from a CNN classifier, uh, which classified the, the, the images as a sitting leg or standing leg. And we put these two features together in a global optimization framework. Uh, which can be solved efficiently using dynamic programming. Um, and uh, after the process, we can, got the, we can get the human pulses in each frame. So this shows the, some comparison results of our approach with some competing methods. So uh, pay attention to what the, uh, this outputs, how these outputs follow the, the, the one in the blue box, which is the ground truth. As you can see that our method has gives the best uh, performance. And the competing method includes the deep learning uh, post-regression-like approach, the nearest neighbor kitty tree uh, approach, and the, 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 the two others are the variants of our methods. So our methods gives the lowest joint arrows um, so the blue bar basically shows the ground truth test one uh, in which uh, uh, it's the same person in the different environment. And the, the, the yellow bar is the different person in different environment. So in both cases, our methods gives the best results. And our method is also has the, uh, has the highest uh, uh, perceived score from the users in the user study. So our method also works in the uncontrolled setting. So we can, uh, we test it in different kind of environments. Um, so it, uh, it works quite well in these uh, uh, settings. And in fact, it works also in the outdoor settings. So in summary, uh, we tackle a new problem of, of uh, estimating 3D human poses from the egocentric videos. And we propose a learning approach to map frame sequences to pose sequences. And the experiment showed that our method is quite effective and efficient. And then we have a website for this, and please come to our poster for more details. Thank you.